How's it going everyone? Welcome back to more of our Ghost of Shishima um, tip series. So today um, I'm just going to basically this is an updated version of where to find a large amount of flowers. So um, there's two new locations, well technically one new location but it's quite a wide one in this. Um, and I'll also just recap on the old location. Um, so in terms of the new location, what you want to do is you need to be in Act 2 for this. Um, and you want to head over to just above Lady Sanjo's Landing, which is just on the left hand side of the map in Umigi. And if you look... Where's my horse? So look, if you look already, it's very similar. Um, you want to go around kind of the lake. Uh, and you'll just find a lot of flowers. Um, I have been running around here for quite a while. So we probably won't find as many as you will find here. But believe me, you will find a lot of flowers here. Um, so it's worth coming here if you are after those flowers. We'll just do a quick minute here just so I can show you. Uh, basically that everyone running there's a large collection of flowers. So it is a very good place to come if you are still needing plenty of flowers. Um, to get your die upgrades, your weapon upgrades, and the like. So, yeah. Okay, and this, in fact, by doing this, we have gone straight into the left location I was going to show you. Um, the next location is the Hidden Cranes Marsh, do you believe? Let me just double check that for you. It is, yeah. So this is also the next location where you'll find lots of flowers. Um, which is technically still the same area, it's just slightly further above. But look, there's a lot of flowers here. If you combine that with the area that I previously released in um, the previous video, similar to this, then you're going to find lots of flowers. You're going to find 100 plus flowers, um, which will allow you to get plenty of the upgrades that you are after. And um, what we'll do, we'll grab one more flower from here. And then we'll just teleport over and give you a refresher of the previous area. So this is the other area. So the previous area that we just showed, remember, is just here. Lady Sanjo's landing up to Hidden Crane's Marsh. Find lots of flowers there. Um, this next location is just around Akashima Village. Um, and as I was saying... This area, you'll probably, by watching this video, you'll probably not think there's a lot of flowers here, but do remember that I have probably found upwards of 60 plus flowers here. I mean, as you can clearly see, there are still some that I haven't got. Um, so you will find lots and lots of flowers here, guys. Um, so you'll probably find enough to do a lot of your upgrades in those two areas. Um, that's all. So you, can, you can pretty much run all the way to south. You can pretty much run, I believe... We'll double check in this video. Um, I do believe you may even be able to go south as the rice field. Um, I just know that the area with these white flowers, for some reason, the flowers are just more popular. Um, they just seem to be there in droves, to be totally honest with you. Um, it may not be the case, though. Further south. Yeah, it's not. Okay, so yeah. In terms of the flowers around Akashima, you can go all the way down to Akashima Higata and up, I believe you can go all the way to the Namata settlement and you'll find a large variety of flowers. Um, so that's basically it guys. Um, you can find lots of flowers around those two areas. Um, there are quite large areas as well. Um, I believe in the previous video I released, I basically only showed a small area. But as you can see, this time we ran all the way this this way south and we're still finding plenty of flowers. There is large areas, you're going to probably find upwards of, between the two areas combined, probably upwards of 200 flowers. It is very worthwhile if you are struggling just to head down to these areas, just to jump on your horse, have a nice ride around whilst collecting them. Um, but that's it guys, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button for me the channel some great support the support on the channel has been insane for this release um and just while we're on this video i would just would like to give you all a heads up um i do live stream now um mostly around 8 7 to 8 p.m uh, in the evening which is british summertime so if you do want to catch up 
Um, feel free to jump into one of those streams. We're currently streaming on Restream.io, so we're streaming to both Twitch and YouTube. Um, trying to narrow it down as to which one I want to stream on. Um, and also, just to remind you that... Or well, not to remind you, because I've not mentioned it before. But Grounded does come out next week, guys. And I'm very excited to that game. I do love a good survival game. So you can definitely bet your bottom dollar we're going to have lots of tips on that game. If that's a game that you are interested in, um, keep an eye on the channel because we're going to have lots of guides coming out for that game as well. Um, and we've also still got our Let's Play going on for Ghost of Tsushima. So keep out for updates on that. The live streams we're doing are mostly just collectibles and doing the side missions. Um, and our actual series on the channel is the main story with some side missions dazzled in here, there and everywhere. But that's it guys, thanks for watching, go and have yourselves a beautiful day and 